What did you tell the prosecutors and the two investigators about uh, Breckenridge's or the possibility of Breckenridge's involvement with the disappearance of Heidi Allen? What did you tell them? Well, what was said that day is uh, that I was driving, that I worked driving, hauling cars for Murtaugh's, and that I hauled the load, uh, got back, and it was like two weeks later, a week later, Roger came up to me and said something about me hauling a stolen vehicle, a van. And I said, okay, I went and asked Rich Murtaugh if that happened. He said, no, that was that. Uh, then we discussed further that it was like eight months after that, we were at a party and uh, Roger showed up, he was drunk, and he had mentioned something about, do you know what was in that van? And I said, no, I have no idea what was in that van. And he went on the part about the remains of Heidi Allen. I went and asked Rich Murtaugh the same question. And he told me, no, it wasn't. You said that there were two conversations with Mr. Breckenridge about this, is that right? The first one was him telling me I hauled a stolen vehicle. And the second one was where? Where was that conversation? And oh, when at a party. I can't remember if it was on the power lines or... It's where everybody would go and there'd be a party. Then you'd keg, you'd be drinking, it's a keg party. I don't know if it was Happy Valley back then or wherever it was me we were at. When I was just, that conversation? Oh, God. 95, 90, late 94, early 95, middle 95. I don't know exactly. I can you know what I mean? I don't... If I could remember when I was working and where I was working and how, when that was going, I could be more, but I can't, I don't, sorry. Did you tell the prosecutors that Roger Breckenridge made a number of comments about Heidi Allen's disappearance? I can remember hearing it over at Westcott's house a couple of times, but other than that, everybody thought Roger was just blowing steam. That's all he ever did. What did Roger say at Westcott's house and when about Heidi Allen's I, disappearance? Both, I, what exactly was ever said, I couldn't, I, we don't, you don't listen to Roger. Roger starts piping off, he's a, how do I say this without getting in trouble up here? Uh, a lot of hot air, you know what I'm saying? He, you never knew if he was telling you the truth. Why do you think I went to Rich Murtaugh when he told me I, I hauled a stolen vehicle? That's going to occur in Canada with a stolen vehicle. I don't want to go to jail. I didn't want to go to jail back then. And that's why I went right to Rich Murtaugh and asked, did I haul a stolen vehicle? And he told me no. How many different times did Roger Breckenridge bring up the subject of Heidi Allen's disappearance with you? Oh, I, I know those two times. It could have been more that I had heard it or whatever. I, I never kept count. In 2014, during your interview, interview with the prosecutors and the two sheriffs, what did you tell them regarding the shipment taken to the facility? In other words, was the shipment taken directly to the shredder? The shredder? Did you All say shipments are taken directly to the shredder. Some are stacked up out in the backyard. Some are taken right there and ran right through. I ran a step deck trailer. So yeah, I backed up to the shredder and the crane unloaded me. Did you tell them you were told to take the shipment that Breckenridge was told? I drove about? the step deck trailer. That's where I went. I said if they would have, like I told them that day, if they would have put that van on my trailer and Heidi would have been in that van, that's where it would have went. Right to the shredder. Plain and simple. That's what I told them. Did you tell them, the prosecutors, that you were told to take the shipment directly no. No. to the shredder? No. When Roger made these comments to you about Heidi Allen, you can think of, at this point, four different times that this may have come up? It probably was more, but you heard these comments out of a lot of people. Everybody knew what happened to Heidi back then. Everybody was talking like they knew what happened to her, but nobody knew anything.